Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Real Toys Halloween Ultimate Michael Myers. And as you can see, it includes a light up flickering pumpkin. This is for ages 17 and up. And there is a warning that there is, is a choking hazard. So this is from the newest Halloween movie. Uh, was it 2018 that this film came out? Here's the back of the box. As you can see, all the display pieces he comes with. Uh, he does not come with the room and all that. But he does come with a knife, a hammer, a jack-o'-lantern, a fireplace poker a head, an extra mask, spare hands, and a tombstone. And as you can see, there's a top, side, other side, bottom, open it up. You get Michael Myers on one side with a little display area and a backdrop window box. Very nice. Let's throw this to the side, and we're going to take a look at Michael Myers. First, before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at all his accessories. First and foremost, he comes with a headstone. Our beloved daughter, Judith Myers, born November 10th, 1947, died October 31st, 1963. As you can see, there's some decorative designs on the top of the headstone. It is a very thin headstone. There's the back. They did a good job scuffing it up, trying to make it look stone. Um, and the letters, the lettering, is actually engraved into it. They did not just print them on there. They did engrave it. Uh, to give it a little bit of depth and make it look that much nicer. Then we have a jack, a light up flickering jack o' lantern. And as you can see, the eyes are hearts, the nose is an upside down heart, and the mouth is a typical jack o' lantern mouth. And to light this guy up, you simply push on the stem. Of the jack-o'-lantern and as you can see it does flicker flickers pretty nicely turn it off and to change out the battery you just unscrew it there it did come with a little tab there to keep it from running the battery down um, you just pull that out once you get it and then you can turn it on let it flicker turn it off We'll set it right here, let it flicker for a while. In fact, we'll move it back a little bit so that it doesn't just flicker in the nose. Let's see if we, there we go, kind of. Ah. <laughs> ah, we'll turn it off. All you can really see is the light through the nose right now. Uh, you almost have to be looking it down on it in order to see the light from other angles. But we've also got a fireplace poker. It is made out of a very soft, brittle plastic. Don't try bending it. It will more than likely snap. Uh, the paint on this, they scuffed it up quite a bit to make it look like an iron fireplace poker. Very nice. Set that there. He also comes with a hammer. And it's been a little while since I watched the movie, so I do remember he bashed someone's head in with it, but that's all I remember from the scene. And it, the paint makes the handle look wooden. But again, this is a very brittle plastic don't try bending it or anything because it will snap so he also comes 
with a steak knife, which looks very nice. They even went the extra mile and put the rivets in the handle and brought the metal from the blade all the way down for the handle to attach to. Very nice. And then we have a severed head, which in the movie had a candle inside, I believe, to look like a jack-o'-lantern. And as you can see, you can see all the way through it, uh, but there is no light for it. It would have been cool if they had a light inside there, uh, but it is what it is. Let's look at the detail. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I don't want this video to get demonetized. <laughs> so we'll we'll go ahead and put, set that over here. My backdrop keeps moving on me. I keep pulling on it. Then we have an extra mask from Michael Myers. As you can see, you can see the eyes in this one. I actually like the other mask a lot better. It's got the blacked out eye holes. This one, you can actually make out the eyes. He looks kind of cross-eyed in this one. And you can see that they did actually do almost a blank face underneath to put this mask around so that you could see the eyes inside. They are two separate sculpts but I'm almost positive the face underneath is blank other than the eyes. And it does have the stab wound in the mask there. Very nice attention to detail. The mask looks incredibly worn. As you recall in the first movie, Laurie Strode did stab him with a knitting needle right in the neck. set that to the side he also came with four extra hands two hands for well yeah two hands for each side no three right hands and one or no one right hand three left hands and one of them is the one that Laurie Strode shot his ring and pinky finger off of. Peace, man. Peace. <laughs> now, put those to the side. Uh, you guys have seen the videos. I'm sure other reviewers going over this guy. You don't need to see me putting the hands, swapping out the hands and seeing how they look. I'm sure you've seen it all before. They just, they're on pegs. They are incredibly difficult to put back on after you take them off. That's why I'm not going to do it. But here we have Mikey Myers, Michael Myers from the latest Halloween film. As you can see, his coveralls are a darker shade, um, very dirty looking, very shadowy, collar sticking up, which is accurate. The eyes, you can make out eyes in there, but they are blacked out. There's not as much detail as the other one. As you can see which I guess they are pretty much the same head sculpt they just dabbed some black paint in there let's go ahead and take his head off as you can see this one looks a lot better than this one There we go. 
And let's go over articulation on this guy. So articulation. His head, like you saw, is on a peg so it can go all the way around. Slight, uh, quite a bit up. Down a little bit. His arms go all the way around. And they're on a hinge. They can go up to about there. You know what? Let me lower this back down a minute. Okay, his elbows. He does have a double elbow joint, but I'm not going to risk doing both because that one does feel pretty brittle. His hands, once again, are on a peg. Go all the way around. Uh, no waist articulation. Well, there is a slight waist articulation, but not a lot. Uh, the body is... Oh, I guess the coveralls are a separate piece. I did not realize that the first time around. As you can see, I'm pushing that in. It's actually a separate body that they placed this onto. So there is a waist swivel underneath. I did not realize that. The legs go out to there go back that far and as you can see since this is rubber the uh, the butt does move right along with it they can bend that far there is an ankle tilt swivel a rocker and you can turn them all the way around. You can give them a broken foot or a broken ankle if you wanted to. And now let's see how his accessories fit inside his hands. If I can get him standing up. There we go. So first we'll take the metal poker. And it fits better in his left hand than it does his right hand. And see, it doesn't fit that well uh, right side up either. He doesn't, well, I guess he does that way. Okay. And then the hammer, I've come to fix your door. <laughs> Fits pretty snugly, pretty securely in his hand. But the knife. The knife fits good the right side up. Just like that and that's that's a good display look for him right there looks pretty nice uh, let's see how it fits upside down and it does fit pretty nicely upside down as well the detail on this figure is overall is very nice um, very crisp paint application, uh, very great, very nice sculpting. Uh, everything is just really nice. And I loved how they put the main, the body part of the coveralls on over an actual sculpted, uh, figure piece. Uh, upper torso part, portion that way when you move the legs the 
it actually moves along with them and you can still get a little bit of a waist swivel the only problem with this guy is I wish they would have gave him a display stand because he is very difficult to uh, stand up. There we go. There we have it. Stand upright. And if you want, I don't know why you would, but I kind of, I've kind of uh, like displaying him this way, putting the hammer inside the head and sticking him in his hand, but it's whatever. So anyway, there you have it, guys. This has been the NECA real toys halloween ultimate michael myers i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have give us a like subscribe and share with your friends i've been shannon this has been come again tv the only place on youtube where all geek culture collides take care geeks if you enjoyed that video make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture also go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched, I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.